Inertial measurement units, or IMUs, are used in many applications where precise motion data is required in a robust, highly integrated form factor. Hello, I'm Victor, an applications engineer at Analog Devices. In this video, we will be looking at a new reference design, the EVAL ADIS IMU1 RPI-Z, which enables users to directly mount the IMU into a Raspberry Pi. In other words, this allows more than 20 different IMUs from analog devices to be used in applications development. So, let's open the box. Inside the box, we have several items. Here is the EVIL ADIS IMU1 RPI-Z. There is a bag of screws and nuts and a ribbon cable. It's important to note that the IMU is not included in the box. That's because the IMU is going to be specific to your application needs. You'll need to order one or have one available. For this example, I'll be using the ADIS16465. Analog Devices also doesn't supply the Raspberry Pi inside the box, so I came prepared with my own Raspberry Pi. There are two modes of connecting the IMU to Raspberry Pi. The first mode mounts the IMU directly to the adapter board using its specific connector and mounting holes. The second method allows for connection via the ribbon cable. In this mode, you will also require the recommended breakout board for the IMU you are using. For this video, we are going to show the direct mounting capability. First, connect the IMU to the EVIL ADIS IMU1 RPI-Z. The connector and mounting hole locations depends on what IMU you'll be using. To find out which combination you should be using, visit the user guide. For this example, we have the ADIS16465 connected to the P7 at mounting location slot I. Then use the metal screws and hex nuts to secure the sensor tightly to the adapter board. Next, we'll add four black standoffs and plastic screws. These outer mounting holes without labels are assigned to mount the adapter board to the Raspberry Pi board. Now, the setup is nice and tidy. Lastly, Connect the IMU with adapter board to the Raspberry Pi and secure the two boards together using the other four plastic screws. Then simply set up the Raspberry Pi as usual with the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and the SD card with preloaded software. Good! That was easy! You now have a complete hardware setup for the EVIL ADIS IMU1 RPI-Z. And you can get started with your application development. That's it for this video. For more information or to get your own IMU to Raspberry Pi adapter, visit analog.com slash eval dash adis imu1 dash rpi z. Thanks and see you next time.